Salutations, Salutations queens, queens and kings. kings. You're tuned in to a wonderful, wonderful time. We're going to be reviewing P Valley. P Valley. Season 1, episode 3, Higher Ground. Yes, very, very excited. I know we've had so many um, people already being so excited for P Valley. Mm -hmm. And oh, it's so much going on in every episode. Everyone. So many details. Um, we tried to. We didn't review ep uh, episode one or two, mm -hmm. but we are definitely going to start uh, reviewing all the episodes afterward. Mentioned there's going to be a lot of tea, <laughs> a lot of it. Yeah, I think I think they got it. It would have been you could have taken all of them and like thrown them at the camera, take all the bags out. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Let's <laughs> jump straight point. into it. Yeah, let's jump straight into it. So. Episode three, Higher Ground, Mercedes, the opening scene was Mercedes. She's doing this one-on-one -on -one dance mm -hmm. um, for a one of her regulars, actually. And we're going to find out the different regulars going on throughout the show. The different girls that have their different regulars mm -hmm. as the show progresses this episode. And um, it was a coach that she was actually dancing for. Isn't that amazing? Yes, yeah, so it was, it was, he was like a coach. And he was pretty much just telling her, like... Um, pretty much just telling her that she can come and stay with him and she's he's like I'll take care of you come and stay with me and mm -hmm. she's pretty much just turned him down and just saying like this fantasy right here is cheap but real life you can't afford it she asked him for her money and you know the whole fantasy of it all because the way they um the cinematography and everything that how they showcase the um when she when Mercedes was on the pole and everything yeah it, it kind of fantasized everything and it looked very nice it was all smoky and beautiful the lights production were perfect yes, yes. Absolutely. She, she was doing her thing on the pole absolutely so um after that it went all the room pretty much went back to normal because at first it seemed like it was just him and her doing their thing um then after that we go to Autumn actually going wig, wig shopping with Gidget. So we can definitely jump into the wig shopping. That's yes. the introduction. That scene just, you know, starts it all. You get your new cat, your new start on life. And yep. you have to, of course, have an identity when you want to become a stripper. So yes. that wig is going to be the identifier for a great majority of, uh, for P Valley, especially for, um, yeah, absolutely. And that's what that's what Gidget was saying that her mom always said, yeah, stripper has to have her look. Yeah. So um, after and she ended up uh, choosing a blonde wig and that's some, pretty much going to play a factor into the rest of Autumn's night. She has a really great night. She's enjoying herself. You pretty much see her uh, making a lot of money. She's getting right. a lot of attention because mm -hmm. of the blonde wig. Of course, naturally. I right, mean. right, right. <laughs> right, of course. So then. She goes over to Uncle Clifford, they're talking, right. and he pretty much reminds her again, if you don't give me any tea, just like what you showed, if you don't give me any of that, then <laughs> you're not going to get your ID. Not. You're not going to get your ID hey. if you don't run me some tea. Run, run some tea. So, uh, basically, when you have so many different uh, regulars, quote unquote, a lot of yes. business, of course, is going to be handled inside of, um, in, 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 inside of the club. Yeah. Wonderful job by uh by Clifford. You're running and I mean Pinky mm -hmm. is what we're calling. Yes, I'm right. I got that. What? The club's name. Pink yeah, the pink the the pink. That's what the they were. Pink. Yeah, the Excuse pink. Excuse me. The <laughs> pink. Yeah. Pink definitely holds some grounds to a lot of wonderful discussions, mm -hmm. whether good or bad, and a lot of handling amongst so many, so many top level, mid level, all the way down to the average Joes for those individuals that are in that town. So um, I have to say, a wonderful job with the production and bringing it all together, intermixing with so many clients or yes. so many of uh, the characters that are bringing their heads because definitely all of them play a role especially in that establishment yes moving moving on and we're trying to t touch on as many little points as we can right. we're not trying to make not trying to make the video very long but there is so much going on throughout each episode like I was saying Absolutely. so if we missed something or you think we should have uh, picked on some touched on some other points mm -hmm. as well 
comment down below let us know and then um that way we keep the com the conversation going in the comments because what i saw probably not what the next person saw right. and so forth so yeah. we really need that <laughs> a lot of moving parts too when it comes yes. to the club a lot a lot of mm -hmm. moving parts so again big ups to the production and how yeah. they're laying laying the grounds for the uh for the you know new seasons coming up sure yes so um the next part was actually when uh showing andre speaking to mm -hmm. the first black mayor of chuckalisa huh. and he's you know pretty much you pretty much get to see his, his introduction to his ego and he's right. talking to andre about the casino and how they need for um the family i forgot the name of the family but pretty much they're trying to buy the land that this family owns <clears throat> for the casino. And then there's only one son, Corbin, mm -hmm. a stepson, I believe, that is actually oh. um, holding up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, holding up the deal. Oh, yeah. And he's trying to get them to lease instead of sell outright. Yes. So that's what Andre and the black, uh, first black bear, Chuck Lisa, is pretty much going over. Yeah. Corbin, of course, wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful playing his role. Definitely a lot of moving parts, and he's going to be key center. Yes. The um, funny part is they're uh, right there on a cotton field. So mm -hmm. already the history alone, <laughs> yes. you're going to get the drift Rich. of why and how much money is going to come into this town, specifically yes. with that black man. Oh, yes. he's moving parts. He's moving parts. <laughs> exactly. We keep get, hearing that the term gift or kickback. Ha ha. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you saw that in the previous episode as well. Yes. They were talking about the kickback. And it just shows you, like, when you're having conversations with certain people, you have to know those little words, little mm -hmm. terms to get, you know, trigger certain conversations. Of course. Activate. Absolutely. Certain conversations. Next thing is... um we actually find out that autumn is receiving like a like messages from this service pre called telemex mm -hmm. and telling her that she has to meet this deadline to come and pick up something yes um and if she doesn't bring that in and bring in her id which she can't get her id from uncle clifford until she delivers some decent tea mm -hmm. That's pretty much uh, when she's like, okay, since I have to get my ID back, mm -hmm. I'm going to go and meet up with Andre. So she texts Andre and um, asks, they actually meet up at a diner and they're, you know, talking to each other. And I thought that was really cute. And Andre being the godson of the uh, first black male company. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, obviously, obviously, mm -hmm. he's going to have to go ahead and get some things moving, especially when it comes to the next part of the big deal the final process of yeah. it all yeah and they're they're just sitting there chatting and um they pretty much talk about going to the mounds there's like this mm -hmm. older uh, black man that turned around and asked them uh are they traveling through or are they staying you know are they local pretty much and started telling them if you're going to be staying here for a while or you passing through whatever you need to go see the mounds yes. because it's this large story and that's where right. people come to see mm -hmm. so um we also got like a little glimpse that that story was kind of triggering triggering for autumn she kind of like had this they pretty much tried to show like it was triggering for her the way right. that they um the way that they visualized everything, they had everything yeah. set up. Of course, had to go back. Right. Have a nice little preview back in time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we keep seeing stuff like that from uh, from Autumn. And to be real, <clears throat> Autumn has PTSD from what I'm aware. Yeah. And uh, other forms of trauma. So, mm -hmm. again. We keep seeing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful part, especially within, within the show. I, I understand that angle. A lot of people are not dealing with that. Or don't have a way to seek yes. help so uh, big ups like I said big ups because you have to realize those intricacies and it wouldn't be there unless they want you to see that so yeah thank it's you important. definitely mental mental check mental, yes. mental health appreciate that so they pretty much agreed to go to the mounds after that yes. um, because I, they pretty much stopped talking because the other girls came in. At first, mm -hmm. it was just Andre and Autumn, but then Mercedes, Gidget, and um, Mississippi came mm -hmm. up and pretty much took over the scene, added stuff to their tab, and told him he was going to pay for it and came and squeezed in the booth next to them. Right. So, he pretty much was like, Andre was like, all right, I'm going to leave. And before she he left, she was just like, hey, we can go to the mounds. I'll hit you up. Right. 
so they decided to do that um the next thing oh one thing that i thought was cute when they were um talking it just shows their relationship mm -hmm. was she was telling him like andre your slip is showing and he, she was like yeah yours is too right so i thought that was like a cute little you know moment there that happened because mm -hmm. it just shows their dynamic it's deeper you're kind of figuring out like how did they get so close so, so close so quickly right. pretty much i mean their language you know they just understand one another yeah it moved very quickly yes definitely exactly so then we actually go to see that uncle clifford goes to see corbin when he's ah, um plowing the the, the cotton, cotton fields, fields. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. check it out yes and um they pretty much are just talking about uh, he corbin was uncle clifford was talking to corbin asking him how come you hadn't told me that there's going to be potential of a casino opening up near pink and he was like well, you know, and he kind of like tight lipped. He didn't really express why he didn't tell her anything. And he was just like, I know I can trust you um, yeah. because you kept my secret this entire time through. Um, I can't remember what grade school they said or oh, yeah, when elementary they were, or something. Oh, yeah, like when they were young. Yeah, yes. once, one, once you start digging into someone's past yes. and history, and obviously that person knows about it after the fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. when, I mean, again, the, the town is a pretty small town. Mm -hmm. Everybody kind of knows everyone. But if you don't know that or certain people don't know, yeah. I said, good job. Beautiful. I mean, yes. That was beautiful. Yes. And um, that's pretty much where we get to see their dynamic. We get to see yep. how close Corbin is with Uncle Clifford. Mm -hmm. And Uncle Clifford says, like, you know, I'm going to keep my, my um, lips shut. I'm going to let I'm not going to let it be known that you are the son of the maid mm -hmm. and the bastard son of good old boy Johnny Kyle. Kyle brothers. Yes, the Kyle brothers. There we go. The Kyle family, possibly. Yes. So, um, she was pretty, and um, <clears throat> Uncle Clifford was pretty much just saying, like, that's some reparations for you. You know, if that's not reparations for you, <laughs> you being able to be a part of that family and um, take control of this land now. You're right. plowing the cotton field. You feel me? And again, another part of the language, like you said, lease, if you don't know what leasing is, yes. especially on land aspect, not even just talking about a casino. Mm -hmm. See if they want to do something different on that cop field. That'd make you a lot of money. So just think about that, Uncle. Yeah. Uh, you right. You want to walk up on there and see what's going on. You right. You want to see what's going yes. on for your business, for the panks. Mm -hmm. Trying to get some business. And right before Uncle Clifford left, something funny that he told uh, Corbin was, we need you to go ahead and get some um, sunscreen. Make sure you get some sunscreen because we don't want you getting too dark. There you go. And I... <sighs> hey. Front, front those of little the business. gems, yes. Yeah. Those little gems. You the front of the business, you gotta look a certain way. I guess, but moving mm -hmm. on to essential parts. Next, all yeah. that tea that a Clifford was looking for, it gave a little bit step closer for someone getting their ID back. Yes. Had to do Definitely a little bit so. more moving. Exactly. Oh, so yeah. the next thing after that, um, what I found was very interesting. We see Mercedes' mom practicing for church service. And she's at the front and she's just giving it her all. The way they depicted it, it seemed like it, we, they were in the, in the midst of service. Oh, yeah. It, they had people shouting, hmm. and, you know, like because really. Because when two or more, huh? Are gathered together. Huh. So, so you really just saw that and you kind of got into it because it was several minutes of her up there just, that's what I'm saying. Have you ever had a time where you had to be dragged up by the Lord and she's going, 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 going. And what happened? And you're sitting there like, oh my goodness, she's, you know, doing a good job. Yeah. I was about and to then, bring out my offering, for yeah. real. Right. Straight and through. then, and then next thing you know, she, uh, she was like, some, some, some say neighbor. And then Mercedes comes in and she says neighbor. And that's when you turn the um, camera pans and you see Mercedes. She's mm -hmm. standing there, the only person in church. Yeah. Ain't nobody else there. She's sitting there practicing pretty much for the actual thing. Practice makes perfect. Okay. And then later on in the episode, we see why she, you know, went that hard. Mm -hmm. We definitely understand. Um, that's another time as well. Like after Mercedes came up, she was asking her mom, like, hey, I'm going to need that money back because um, I plan on doing something with that deposit that I gave you. I believe $10,000 that she gave her. Yes. 
gave her towards the church for her to hold. Huh. <laughs> to hold. Yes, right. for her to hold. And she's pretty much saying, Mom, need that ten, those 10 stacks back. And her mom is just asking her, well, what do you plan on doing with it? Yeah. And she let her mom know, like, I remember that quote that you told me where mm -hmm. you're like, um, don't let, ne don't let that nigga know what you about to do. Just let them bitches watch. And pretty much have an out retirement plan at yeah. the end of the day. Basic and translation. Pretty much. You're funny. Hey. <laughs> Some people don't know Ebonics. So yeah. you gotta give it to them straight by playing. <laughs> you are funny. I can't. So that's when the mom pretty much like agrees. Okay, I'm gonna give you your ten thousand dollars back. Yep. And um you see Mercedes run up to her mom and give her a hug. Like, mm -hmm. I really appreciate you like coming through for me because I gave you that money. Yep. It seemed like they had a past where it didn't always go well, yeah. you know, like what you saw in the previous episodes, her giving her mom money and mm -hmm. it's like a struggle and then her mom has to beg her sometimes or yeah. guilt trip her into giving her money. Right. So you can just tell that she really appreciated her mom like, okay, I'll give you the money, whatever. Mm -hmm. So then we go to, we actually see that Mercedes finds out that there is a video <laughs> from her Chuckalisa Chuck Challengers mm. that says it's going to be uh, something called the Bad Bitch Party. Okay? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Inviting only the 20 top the top 20 twerkers. Mm -hmm. And when Mercedes sees this video like she has them outside doing drills but we saw them on like the last drill that they were doing. It was like back to back and yeah. uh, pretty much like a wall sit. Yeah. But back to back to each other. Are those quads boy? Burn yeah. in. All right. So I understand their pain. And then afterwards, yeah. she had them do uh, things like splits or, or toe, jump, touches, to, toe touches. Yeah, like 70. Because Yes, because of what happened. Okay, so that's what I'm about to get into. Crazy. So there was one young... And Mercedes is walking through the line of girls, like, telling them, like, you cannot be doing this. You all are out here just having people... Like, people are going to think these certain things of you. Because yeah. in the video, it's them, like, twerking. And, and I think they were even, like, eating whipped cream like you know like squeezing yes. the whipped cream something crazy come on <laughs> where's your father because like you know that it, it that was crazy but where's your dad who raised drill you? sergeant uh mercedes yes. she running through absolutely give him that discipline yes and one uh young lady taylor she decides to speak up saying we should be free to express our sexual 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 freedom without patriarchal consequence of rape or rumor mercedes cuts her off yes. <laughs> she said f your feminism okay you it's just like you don't want that type of video on the internet and yeah. like what king has said at that time was the main thing that she's missing is like explaining that to them yeah of course because we move so quick to discipline people yeah. instead of like educating them right because a lot of people just assume that this is the right thing to do or like she said we should be free to you know like come on yeah come on that that's very cute but we also have to think about the long term the reality and and of course the, to be quite fair um mercedes lives in a totally different world from those young ladies and yes. that experience has to translate so mm -hmm. I, I i love that that scene i mean specifically that scene because it gives that dynamic a i've been where you are um, you're on a better path. You can actually rise upon my shoulders and we can lift you to a better translation, get you traveling outside of this small area. Because for the, the funny part is how quickly they were able to yeah. post a party and yeah. how many kids actually showed up for no police to be there. That's a small town. So obviously we got to get these kids traveling and moving them outside think, of this area for real. Yeah, I think as well, like, like um she definitely should have explained it more yeah. but they're also seeing like what she had to go through with episode two i believe yeah. the car had pulled up when they were practicing outside and was like uh, bounce that ass you know yelling yeah. out the car at mercedes yeah. Yeah. and mercedes had to pretty much run over and tell them like go on go like i'm outside with my girls like right because at first mercedes was like let's do 50 since y'all want to speak up it was actually the captain Yes. Who spoke up, and that's an important part in the um in that important dynamic character. as well. Yes, yeah, she's because, a very important character. Yes, because the captain is um someone who you'll see later on in the episode as well. Mm -hmm. So that that was crazy. So we go to the three girls practicing yes. their drill their drill for the Trinity, mm -hmm. and we see that once Mercedes comes in, um, she has to Mercedes is all the way at the top. 
Mississippi is in the middle and then Gidget is at the bottom and they're all doing their thing mm -hmm. and um what is it called when Mississippi if Mississippi is like holding herself like this on the pole and like laying flat like a plank and so yeah. all of her uh, strength is on her wrist and yeah. then parallel yeah. yes exactly and yeah. you see Mercedes she actually has her two feet on her and is like twerking Right. And, and, and mind you, Mercedes, when she's going through and you see her dance, she's a very strong dancer. So yeah. I can only imagine <laughs> the the vibration from yeah. the twerking and you're trying to hang on and parallel your wrist, yes, and, and your, your wrist, wrist hurt. hurt. Like already if one day your wrist hurt, you're like, I can't like, but yes. like you got to perform. You like my wrist is really hurting. Yes. Woo. Yes. Big ups to you, Mississippi. Yes, that's when we're reintroduced to her huh. um, abuse that she's receiving at home. Because Which? she dro she drops down off the pole and she's like, I have to go refill my water bottle. She right. didn't even really try to make it be known that it was her wrist. And then she goes in the kitchen and um, she's like, I believe in the freezer, like trying to put some ice on her wrist. Mm -hmm. And then that's when Diamond, the bouncer, comes right. in. Bouncer, a.k.a. Her, her angel, AKA. Right. a.k.a. hitman. Okay. <laughs> Everything. Oh, uh, X Army and all of that, bro. You, if you've seen the previous episode, you know Diamond is there for Mississippi. And, uh, uh, also, somehow he's like a master of of like some type of healing purposes yes. of old of, of, get, of, yes. of, of, of like some serious ancient remedies and ancient rituals. Remedies, yes, right. because he what he did. Peppercorn, he, peppercorn and alcohol. Peppercorn and alcohol. Put on a towel, crunch it up. Put it on there. He said, you're going to be good. Now, I'm not sure how true that is, but that's stuff that they sell in the stores for all them creams. Yes. They sell all them creams. All them creams. That's exactly how you apply. Why are you applying cream you with apply, two fingers right, instead of one? Apply creams. Uh, I can't. I can't. It's too funny. Um, so, yes, that's when we're reintroduced into that. Yeah, Diamond, um, uh, Di Diamond, you know, going through the process, showing the connection between him and Mississippi. Yes. And trying to give her that for, like, you don't have to deal with, uh, um, you know, that type of violence yeah. at all. Yes. And she has a child. Yes, and she was Coming denying it. Yeah, she was denying it still. She was like, I fell or something, she told Diamond. Diamond yeah. was like, so when you going to get tired of falling? Right. You know. Just like King said, the hitman, he already asked her in previous episodes, oh, like, yeah. where, where, when you want me to do it? Right. Just say the word. Just right. say the word. That's what he said. Right. <laughs> you know, willing, and again, she's coming to work, mm -hmm. okay, doing what she's got to do. Yes. Feeding the family. Mm -hmm. Bringing the baby in. And, and that whole dynamic, too, of everyone taking this child yes. and raising it. Bro, it, it totally it's totally beautiful. Man, what? Uh, only in America. Yes. Only in America. So, we're going to now skip to their back end, you know, the back of uh, the pang, and they're getting ready to perform and everything. Mm -hmm. We see that Autumn is dealing with something to where she's continuously drinking to the point where she's almost belligerent. Right. It almost seemed like it was something uh, trigger her PTSD when it came to Mississippi's baby yes. being there and crying. Yes. And that was one of the last times that she heard her baby apparently from the exactly. flashbacks that we see it's that <laughs> this is something traumatic for her and that's the last time she heard her kid was just you know in a panic unfortunate accident mm -hmm. from what we see through those flashbacks yes yeah, so she's sitting up there she's drinking mm -hmm. uh, a lot and she holds the baby as well mm -hmm. after that she goes um she goes out into she goes out yeah she goes out into the bar area and that's where mercedes we actually get to see the trinity the trinity be performed yeah and we're seeing um gidget mississippi, mississippi. and mercedes all perform they're at separate poles at first and then they all come together and do the actual trick that they wanted the to remedy do the remedy worked they killed it right <laughs> so I, the remedy, the worked. remedy worked i was holding my breath because what they made us showed us before with her like uh, I, I gotta yeah. let go. I gotta let go. That's yeah. what she told Mercedes the first time. So I was like holding my breath like if they fall, right. you know. So just like you said, it worked. The remedy apparently worked. They uh, were successful with it. And then we actually see that Autumn decides for whatever reason, after she's drunk as well, she's sitting at the bar. She actually gets angry because she's sitting at the bar. She's taking shots. The mm -hmm. bartender is giving her shots and then she asks for another one. Yep. The bartender is like, no, that's your last one. Well, she doesn't even say that's her last one. She gave her some water. water. Mm -hmm. Good job, bartender, because you always know how to hold people down yeah, and bring them right back the up. Shout out to the bartender. <laughs> shout out to the bartenders. So that's when she pretty much just got upset and she decides to go get on stage. Crazy. 
Confirms right? her drunk butt, and you can tell that like she's drunk. And and what they always tell you at work: do not perform any type of activities while you are intoxicated. And what she do? Did just that. Did just that. You know. She could have really hurt someone, which is, you know, what we get to eventually, what Mercedes does, lets her know. And does Uncle Clifford but, have insurance for everybody? Please. What about the 401k? You, I, I have go. not, I, has anybody asked that? Where's mm -hmm. the dental and all of that? I guess that's a part of the skill set, you know? Yes. Like Uncle, to... Uncle Clifford was just, was just looking like, like, Autumn, what are you doing? Like, get down. Like, yes. you know, because you could tell she was stumbling. No, 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 no let's stop. He egged that on first. He said, oh, snap. And then when it he, went he, bad. He, he was teetering back yeah, and forth. Yeah. He, 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 he was like, oh, no. And he was like, okay, it's going good. And he was like, oh, no. And he was like, oh, yeah, it's going good. And then he was like, oh, no, it's going worse. And he was like, oh, no, it's going good. So it was like the teetering back and forth and back and forth. Well, when she crazy. fell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, so what either way, she goes up there, she gets on the pole. Mercedes is pretty much looking at her and it's like, where are you going? Why are you on the pole? Her and pole. Yeah, she was her like, why pole. are you on the pole? She was like, where do you think you're going? Autumn decides to actually get up on the pole. So Mercedes gets on the pole with her and they're both doing their thing on the pole. Then Mercedes gets down and then I believe Autumn falls off the pole. Yes, she does. And then everyone, and that's again when Owen Clifford's like, oh no. <laughs> like that's when he teared his back to, oh no, this is going bad. Because at first when they were both on the pole, he was fine. Yeah, giving people a yeah. show. Throw mm -hmm. that money up in yes, the air. exactly. So then when she falls, everyone kind of pauses like, oh snap, like did she hurt herself? Mercedes being the OG that she is, she kept the show going. She climbs on top of her and just like keeps grinding, like keeps the show going. Mm -hmm. I was like... That's only a true OG would know how to keep a show going, especially after somebody fell and you don't know if they broke something or busted. Please. Right. So either way, after that, of course, Mercedes is going to confront uh, Autumn yeah. in the hallway at the back of the paint. And she's just like, what were you thinking? Don't ever do that shit again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not right. going to talk to you next time. I'm just going to straight up kill you next time. You right. do that. And this is my pole. You have to respect that. And she was pretty much just saying, like, you're drunk. And she was like, no, I'm not drunk. And she, like, plucked her in. You know, Autumn, like, step, she, like, stumbled back. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, clean yourself up. And you cannot keep uh, putting other people in harm's way. All right. All right. So, boom. Next scene is when we actually get introduced to the DJ there. Yeah. DJ Never Scared. And DJ Never Scared definitely is heavy hitting in the streets mm -hmm. with the production. He, he, he's all, you know, everybody's talking, you know, talking about him. Funny part is, young kid, still in high school. Let yes. you know everything <laughs> about the process of this small town. The biggest producer when it comes to the music. He's just a kid in high school. And, that, and, and it looks like I'm... Mm -hmm. I think I might be wrong. I know that schools right now, of course, everyone is wearing uniform as yeah. well. Yeah, it looks so, like a no prep school or a private yeah. school, like you said. Yeah, that's what it looked like. But you know, nevertheless, it awesome, awesome because he's getting hit up by uh, what's the what's the uh, the rapper? L Lil Murder. Lil Murder. Lil Murder. Lil Murder. Good just needs to build up his weaponry. Okay. Yes. He, you know, he 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 he's a character. He's definitely a character. The music, I understand you want to get that music in the strip club so everybody can vibe to it. Yes. That's how everything gets laid down. If you, you know, if you don't know anything about the game right now, yes. well, the music industry currently, currently, you do have to go to the south. Got to play those records in the club.